Welcome to the NCAA Baseball Super Regionals presented by Capital One. It is another warm and muggy afternoon here in Waco, Texas, but what do you expect in the middle of June? It is game two of the Super Regional. Arkansas, the home team this afternoon against the Baylor Bears. They'll be facing Ryan Stanick out of Overland Park, Kansas. A sophomore has had a great year, 7-4 and four record on the season. What do you like about Ryan? No, what I like about him is he's a true SEC power pitcher. Fastball gets up to 97 miles an elbow. And talked to their coach for Arkansas, Van Horn. He said he addressed that with the umpire yesterday, but nothing was called. Ground ball to Tim Carver at shortstop. And now he has sole possession. Don't measure him by his height. Measure him by the pop in his back. That will slip underneath the glove of Carver, and another base hit for the man hitting 364. He's battled back to a 3-2 count. And strikes him out. Line, smoke to left, but right at Bleeker. Here's how Dave Van Horn filled out his lineup card today for what will be the home team. Tim Carver still in that leadoff spot, but Serrano had a great regional. 0-0 zero, zero prior to the rain break, both pitchers were dealing. Serrano slaps one to left. The effort from Spark the lineup, give him a little jump start. And the left fielder. Both of them just kind of crisscross each other's paths, and that ball took a slow roll. He smokes that one to right. Toth makes the catch. But Serrano will touch home, and the Hogs have a first inning lead. One to nothing on the sacrifice fly. Base hit on a 3-2 pitch, served up in left field for Bigham. Make a decision pretty soon. Runner goes. Langford dropped a baseball. Ground ball right back to Turley. Excellent defensive player on the mound. Makes the play. The underhand toss, and Arkansas will leave a runner. That gets past the catcher, John Clay Reeves, so the strikeout. Goes for not as four pitch walk. Mr. Ludy work a little bit harder, and all he has done is become the Big 12 Player of the Year. The ball gets away from Reeves, and how about Orff? Alert scoots over to third. Set up way inside. Now they're going outside. Got Ludy to pop it up. Shallow center. Orff. He's going to tag. Here's a throw home, yeah. and he is nailed. What a throw by Vincent. Runner goes. Reeves throw, not in time. So that'll get Logan Vick in the scoring position. Keeping his team in the game. Fastball, 95 miles an hour, stroke to center. Here comes Vick. Throws cut off by Piccicello, and we're tied in one. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you look at yesterday's game, they just didn't have anything going their direction. Boy, Turley got that up in the strike zone, and Serrano continues to hammer the baseball here in the postseason. Off-speed pitch, stroke into right. Serrano, round second, he's on his way to third. Throw will come to second. Runners at the corners with two down for Arkansas. Two down for Ficicello. He strokes it down the line and right. That'll be a fair ball. Reynolds being waved home. Throw will go to second. Actually, it'll come home, not nearly in time. And how about the two-base knock from Dominic Ficicello? Picks up two RBI in the process. I would say that he has figured his swing out. Here's Carver, backs up, throws. Vicicello scoops it out of the dirt. Two down, has been one pitch at a time. Well, that pitch will send Stanick and company to the dugout to grab their bats and help. If he gets on with the walk. Four pitch walk. That would be Brandon Moore. Stanick's day is done. Brandon Moore, the sophomore at Van Buren, Arkansas, We'll get the baseball. The sophomore has had a great season. 
Ground ball. Great glove by Carver. Long throw. Not in time. Vick. That's going to drop for a base hit. They will wave the runner. And Ficacello cuts Whoa. it off and didn't even look. <laughs> To home, they may have had a play at the plate. The tote scores and makes it three to two with runners at the corners. Runner goes, no throw down to second, so now first base open, nobody out. And two on. High chopper. Bigham, nice play. Looney is tagged out by Ficacello, but the Bears do tie the game up. Slaps it to short. This will get another run home as Carver makes the throw over to first, and the Bears have the lead at four to three. And a line drive to center, and a great grab from Logan Vick to rob Carver of a base hit. Ground ball, line drive to third base, Tui. Makes the grab. He can hit with two outs as well. Miller goes down via the K for the third straight time. The ball's tacked. But right at Abbott in left. Ball's hit hard. Miller. That's big time, folks. He reports the out. Anderson. Fly ball left field. Bleeker makes the catch, two down. Ground ball. Vicicello bobbles it. And now look at Vic trying to get down to second. Got him. <laughs> got him. He gambled and it didn't pay off. The ball got away from Moore, and he saw Moore kind of walk casually. High chopper to first. A little backhanded toss to Turley. Talked about the big bats. Barrett Aston doesn't have a decision. The sophomore out of Forest City, Arkansas, will grab the baseball. He can bring it pretty well. A 2.2 ERA. Got hit by a pitch. Aston has been working inside on the last few. Ball four. Squares up. Gets the bunt down. Will it stay fair? Great bunt. It will. Aston has to pick it up, and everybody's safe. So there's still no sacrifices. That'll go as a base hit. Swung right over the top of the break. This could be two. Going to be tough. Can they turn oh, it? Yes. Carver to Bigham to Ficacello and the Arkansas Razorbacks have some life here at Baylor. Instead, I've talked to a couple of coaches about it that track those kind of things. Base hit to the right side for Tim Carver. But a couple of coaches that have tracked it over time the entire season. Runner goes. Strikeout at home. They got him at second. Inning over. Arkansas had just got sucked out of him after the strike him out, throw him out to end the eighth. With on this Sunday, runner goes, little slow roller, and Ficacello will just get the out, but it works just as well as a sacrifice of one down and a runner. Fly ball right side. Anderson makes the catch. Miller goes nowhere. Two down. Second base as Trent Daniel, the left-hander, gets the baseball for the Arkansas Razorbacks. A junior making his 18th appearance of the year. So Daniel does his job, gets the strikeout, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. The Hogs need a big-time rally to keep their Omaha dreams alive. So Reynolds reaches first via the wall. 
Slap to center. Reynolds turns the corner, will put the brakes on. First and second now for Arkansas, only one down. Miller bobbles it, can't make a play. Throw back to third, not in time. That was a game-ending double play from a shortstop that has made every play that has come his way the last two days. I mean, not only did he panic once he got stuck on the ground and didn't come out of his glove, at this point now, you got to go to first base. And dropped it again, and whoa. That hit him. We're tied. A fastball catches Bosco on the leg, and Matt Reynolds scores, and it's 4-4. Four to four. Are you kidding me? Well, the bases are loaded. There is one out, and here comes John Clay Reeves. Infield plays in. Ball game. First pitch, Reeves takes it on the shoulder. We will have a game three tomorrow right here at Baylor Ballpark. The Bears look like they were heading to Omaha. Arkansas says not so fast. A breaking pitch just stays inside and catches John Clay Reeves.